The debate over gun control has deep roots in the United States, and the fatal shooting in Washington, D.C. will most likely heat that up again. Thanks for tuning in to D News, everyone. I'm Trace. Police in Washington, D.C. are still gathering all the facts as they investigate the shooting at the U.S. Navy Yard earlier today. At the time of this recording, CNN has reported that at least 12 people have died, including one of the suspected gunmen. During times of gun violence, debates inevitably rise about how guns fit into our society. A new study published in the American Journal of Public Health is making a bold claim. It says states where gun ownership is higher experience a higher number of firearm-related homicides. This flies directly in the face of some gun advocates who cite the 1998 book More Guns, Less Crime by John Lott Jr., where gun control's effect on crime is thrown up against a lot of data. This book and others like it contain data from various sources compiled in such a way as to push gun ownership as a more sensible solution to deter crime. This new three-decade data-heavy study, however, indicates a contradictory finding. The Boston University School of Public Health looked at CDC records from 1981 to 20 10 and found, as the number of guns in a state increased by 1%, the number of homicides with guns increased 0.9%. The researchers pointed out that they're not saying that more guns causes more killing in these places, but that over three decades, the number of killings and the number of guns were tied into this very similar pace. The assertion isn't particularly new. The Harvard Injury Control Research Center found the same thing in 2012, and their data showed even when controlling for every other variable, more guns correlate to increased homicides. Even if you take the whole United States out of the reckoning and only look at other countries, they found that since 1990, across 26 developed countries where more guns were available, there were more homicides. Other studies in the last 10 years have found similar results. Regardless of how you come down on the great gun debate, these studies are compelling, though not causal. Not one of these studies does claim or even can claim more guns means more homicide. But guns and crime seem to increase and decrease together across race, gender, age, type of crime, urbanization, alcohol consumption, employment, and income level in all counties, cities, regions, states, and countries studied. Data like this tends to put people on both sides of the gun debate on their warpaths. Gun advocates claim since the 1990s gun ownership has increased and thus crime has dropped. And though that it's true crime has dropped, there is no way to prove causality there either. The number of gun homicides have dropped overall, but so has all crime in the United States. And this Boston University study still applies. So though crime is down overall and gun homicide is down overall, the greatest number of gun homicides are found where there are a lot of guns around. For some reason, we're not sure. Researchers are working on the answers as to why right as we speak. Check out the Pew Research Center's social and demographic study for some really interesting reasons on why crime may be dropping. So what do you think of this study? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. And hey, this is science. So let's try to point to actual science here too, guys, and not just anecdotes or personal experiences. Let's have a discussion. Thanks for watching D News today. Click subscribe so you can get more D News every day of the week.